I treat everyone with respect, except for my daughter, Angela. <laughs> Angela treats everyone with brazenness. How unfiltered is Angela? The golf superstore where Angela works as a cashier encourages golfers to donate to a program for underprivileged youth golfers. A customer's bill runs to $399.93. Angela asks, would you like to donate to Change for Challenged Children? The customer, for whatever reason, says no. Really? <laughs> you can't spare seven cents for some poor little golfer who might be starving? <laughs> Angela's chronic brazenness has all, always kindled my smoldering <coughs> bluntness. When Angela is seven years old, I tell her for the third time, study your spelling. Fine, Daddy, fine. F-I-N, fine. <laughs> great, Angela, just great. G-R-A-T, great. <laughs> In middle school, Angela decides to take up the trumpet. I tell her, Angela, your grandmother played the cello, your Aunt Alberta played the cello, I played the cello, we have a cello, we don't own a trumpet. <laughs> Angela says, I want to join the band, not the orchestra. <laughs> Angela, playing the cello will make you cool, or at least cooler than you are now. <laughs> Two months ago, my polite daughter, Anna, asked <laughs> if she could please get a DNA ancestry test. <laughs> It's interesting, Anna, because we adopted each of you from Ukraine, but you may be the only ethnic Ukrainian. Alex's biological parents were gypsies, and the last name of Angela's biological parents, Galish Bili, is unique to the Republic of Georgia. From upstairs, Angela bellows. What? My half of my back is a tattoo of the Ukrainian flag. <laughs> Dad, why didn't you tell me this? I did tell you when you were eight years old. I can't help it if you forgot. <laughs> Angela is hurt. Listen, Angela, you are Ukrainian. Just like we're all, even though my great-grandparents came from wherever, we are all, all Americans. And just like, even though we have different DNA, you're 100% my daughter. Plus, the Republic of Georgia has some really nice scenery. <laughs> Two weeks ago, Angela says, Dad, something happened last month that I didn't tell you about because you're too judgmental. But now, I'm really scared. Angela had gotten drunk at a concert. She retreated to her car in the parking lot. A police officer tapped on her window and handed her a summons for supplying her 19-year-old friend with alcohol. Angela faces a $500 fine and a criminal record. I strain, but I'm able to suppress my instinct to be judgmental. The morning after, however, 
I go to the store. I tell Angela, you have to dress appropriately for your court hearing. And I bought you some clothes at Goodwill. Angela says, Goodwill? Goodwill is where fashion goes to die. <laughs> I say, maybe, but the judge will love this shirt. <laughs> Thank you.